Thank you and welcome to today's video. It's going to be 16 RV kitchen organization hacks and tips brought to you by learnalongwithme.com. What we're going to cover in today's video is, well, we're going to help you organize your RV kitchen. And how we're going to do that is look at ways to decrease your countertop clutter and look at ways to organize inside the kitchen cabinets. So the first thing we're going to look at are adjustable cutlery drawer trays. So adjustable trays like this will fit in various size kitchen drawers, allows you to put your cutlery and utensils away nicely, keep them off the counter, which is very important. We wanna make sure that countertop is nice and clean and clear. The second thing we can do, it's a pretty neat idea, and most newer RVs actually already have them, is a cutting board that actually sits inside the sink. If your RV doesn't have one yet, you can buy one like this one shown here made by the company Camco. You're going to hear that name repeatedly because they are probably the leader, I would say, in uh, RV accessories. This type, this type of product, it increases countertop space, allows you more surface to work on. And if you are doing food prep, there's actually a little hole in the side. See the cutaway there? That allows you to toss in the food scraps down into the sink where you can clean them up later um, after you're done. Another cutting board idea, also made by Camco, is this one here, which actually is a bit of a triple threat, so a triple duty. You can use it as a cutting board. It'll convert the stove top into more countertop space, so you can you know, set down your bowls and that sort of thing upon it when you're prepping food. But it also helps quiet the stove rattle. You see the little black feet on it there? Those go over top of the, the, top of the stove to help uh, reduce that noise for when you're traveling. Another way to help get things off of the countertop is a small dish drying rack like this one shows here. You put it inside the sink after you've washed your dishes, you've rinsed them, you put them into here to dry so they're not sitting on the edge of your counter drying. Another way to dry off your dishes is this one. This one, you know, in the picture kind of looks like a bit of a behemoth. So obviously you're going to want to make sure that you measure uh, from underneath your uh, kitchen cabinets down to the sink, make sure it'll actually fit. But something like this allows you to better use that vertical space that's above the kitchen sink. Uh, I would say it's probably not ideal for travel days, so when you're actually driving your RV around, but you know, on the camp days when you guys are parked for a few days, it'll be a perfect way to help dry off the dishes and store extra utensils. All right, hanging knife storage. Let's give a drum roll here for this special animated feature. There it is. So Camco makes this thing they call the knife safe, which is a wall mounted knife storage system. It'll help keep, you know, you don't have to have a knife block or a butcher block on the on the kitchen counter. You can put it up on the wall. You can screw it or apparently even use the, you know, strong double sided tape. Um, but one of the one of the readers on learnalongwithme.com, she mentioned, hey, why don't you just use a magnetic strip? So put a magnetic strip on the wall. It'll stick your knives to it. You'll be able to put graters, uh, other utensils on there, any metallic thing. So thanks very much. And I believe that was uh, that one was from Suzanne. So thank you very much, Suzanne, for that idea. This one looks kind of funny, like, well, how's a utensil set going to help reduce clutter? Well, you notice with these ones, there's the circular hole in the bottom of the handles. If you put like a clasp spring through that, clip them together, and then you'd be able to just store them on a hook, keep them up on the wall off of the kitchen countertop. I know at home, a lot of people will put their utensils inside like a large jar, but once again, and, and set it on the counter, but then once again, you're taking up counter space. So being able to put these onto the wall is going to help keep your kitchen counter nice and clear. Another, well, very simple way to keep your counter clear is to basically screw some hooks like this into the underside of the upper kitchen cabinets. Then you just hang organizers from it. As you'll see in the picture here, this was my friend's uh, trailer that they had. So they put some screws up into the underside of the wooden cabinet, and then they hung some organizers from it. And while I was in my friend's trailer, I noticed there's actually quite an opportunity here to put a tension bar. So between the wall and the kitchen fan, or the the stove fan there. I was able to put a tension bar along there, get their uh, paper towel up off the counter, and then also their cleaning supplies were within easy reach as well. So those are some easy ways that you can help reduce the uh, countertop clutter in an RV. Now we're going to look at or organizing the RV kitchen cabinets. So inside the kitchen cabinets can be, you know, pretty chaotic and pretty cluttered sometimes. So we're going to look at some products to help deal with that. So the first way we're going to look at organizing inside kitchen cabinets is these vertical plate stackers. So vertical stackers like this will help keep your dishes and cabinets nice and tidy and organized. And then also when on your travel days, when you put your plates in here, you're going to know that after you park and set up camp, your plates are still going to be where you left them. 
Another way to help organize inside the cabinets is a vertical organizer like this one, which will help keep your, uh, your pans or casserole dishes, um, you know, various lids nice and organized in place. You can also get, you know, different ones other than this that are a bit bigger, a bit smaller, and they're customizable so you can move the little wire racks in order to fit various sizes of kitchen items. Another way that you can help minimize what I call cupboard sprawl is getting nesting bowls. So the more things you can stack inside each other means the less space uh, area they're taking up inside the kitchen cabinet. And this is an over the cabinet door organizer. So it, it just hangs over the kitchen cabinet door and you can, you know, provides a nice little metal basket for uh, food wraps, cleaning supplies, dish towels, or basically whatever else you need to store inside the kitchen cabinet. This is a cool one. This is a sliding drawer shelving unit. So the two bottom drawers there slide in and out, allow you to get easy access to the back of them. And the top, uh, the top shelf is a stationary shelf, but you can put items on it. Uh, in the photo here, as, as you can see, they, they use it for cleaning supplies. So that could be good actually inside the RV bathroom or under the RV uh, kitchen sink. And another way to, to organize kitchen cabinets, quite an easy way, uh, quite a simple way actually, is the plastic bins and baskets. So as you can see here, my friends just use a small plastic basket to put their cleaning supplies underneath the kitchen sink. When they need to get at something, you just pull the whole basket out, take out what you need, slide the rest back in. Nice and easy and low cost option for, for organizing. What about your food shelves, you know, for your pantry? Well, a simple wire shelf like this one can obviously increase your pantry storage capability. A friend of mine sent me this photo here um, of, their, of their RV pantry here, and it allows just some more or better use of vertical space. It might not be fancy, but hey, sometimes the simplest items work best. This is for helping to organize the inside of your RV fridge. So the double fridge bar like this here is a tension bar, so you can kind of push it back. You can push all your items to the back of the fridge, put your tension bar on there, and basically it helps keep it in place during travel days. This one is also made by Camco. And if you guys are curious, if you do want a free RV journal and logbook to keep track of your camping memories, you can head over to learnalongwithme.com, click on one of the RVing and camping articles, and you'll be able to follow a link like this here and get your free copy for yourself. All right, well, thank you guys very much for watching this. This has been 16 RV Kitchen Organization Hacks and Ideas. If you have any ideas on how to help organize your kitchen, please comment below. I'm sure other RVers will be really eager to learn them. Thank you.